M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the DM1701. This is actually, this one here, is the 1701A, slightly different. There's a bit of a glare there. But it has on the on its shoulders, just sort of here, and he has a slightly different case design. Uh, it's the same thing, it's £10 more, but it's the, the newer model. But the insides, I think, are exactly the same. But anyway... What we're going to do is add our repeater GB7FI and you can see that I've just written the frequencies there to remind myself. So connect your radio, you do need a special cable for the DM1701, they're not expensive so my advice is get one when you order the radio, it's going to be a lot cheaper, literally like £6 instead of £12 if you get it in the UK. Uh, connect, connect up, download the software, I'll put the link in the description. And it does install the drivers that you need. So hopefully once you've done that and connected it to the twin pins just here, twin pin connected to your computer, then you can just go program here and just read, which I've just done. So quite a few windows here on the left hand side and you want to start off with the one that says channels. So it was, might be closed, like see at the moment it's in yellow and it's closed, double click it. So, and then you're going to get all your, your channels appear. Okay. And now we get this window here. So I'm going to add the, the repeater just by just moving this out of the way. Double click a space. And the receive is, let's get it right. Put the name in first here. So double click. Just to the left here where it says four and you've got a little arrow. Double click, opens up another window. We can start changing this channel. So it's a digital channel and the name is GB7FI. So GB7FI receive, which is 430. Transmit is 438.48750. Then we'll go, we've got the name, the frequency 438. Of course, I had a phone call in the middle of the video as usual. But 487. Five zero. Time out. There you are. 150 seconds. 240 seconds. Why not? I can put in my location there if I want. 52. I'm just going to put in a random one. And here I'm going to put in two. There you go. Location. You don't really have to. Anyway. Like so. I don't even like that location. DMR ID, well, it'll pick it up from your radio anyway, but I'll put it in two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. Um, talk group that we're going to talk to or use. So if we look here, let's have a look if we've got contact. I like to use number nine when I'm using a repeater. So we want TG, it's called local. If it's not in there, then we go across here to contacts. Okay. And in your contacts, you're looking for number nine. So yeah, wrong one. It's a contact here. Look, they are number nine. The reason I like nine is because then you can tell the repeater where, what talk group to connect to. Nine is like a connection. Uh, so then repeater slot, we're just going to use one for now. And I think that's it. I think we're good to go. Let's double check. Uh, last one, colour code, which is here. Look, you want three. Um, to number three. So that's the channel done. Now we need to put that into a zone so we can find it. So we go up to the top here. Let's have a look. Let's look for zone. Ah, there it is there, zone. And let's find... Uh, can I, I could create a new zone. Yeah, so let's just add a new zone. So we'll go right click, add, and then we'll at the bottom it says zone 36. 
I'm just going to rename it to GB7FI. Okay, and then we're going to add the channel I just made, which was there. Look, so these are all the channels in your thing. You add it in, it's now you've got a, a, a let's call it a pot, a pot of channels, but I've only put one channel in it so far. So I can add that in and I might add a couple of my, if I just copy that channel, like so, see if it will let me copy. Will it let me copy? No, it won't. I'll do a duplicate channel underneath, but with a different group. So let's just do it. Double click five. It's good practice anyway. Digital and then it's four, three, zero, zero dot. 88750. Oh, it's the same process. It's just if it's boring, just just um I put it in the wrong place. 430.88750. And the name here is GB7F5. I'm gonna go slash 91 and then I'm gonna put SL2. That means slot two, just to remind myself what I've chosen for that channel. Then we want to put the same transmit frequency so all the frequencies will stay the same that you're going to be using uh, the talk the repeater on even though you're using different talk groups it's the same frequency 438.48750 uh, still color code three but this time you're just selecting a different talk group look there look tg91 and you do have to create talk groups, but I can, I remember I said about slot two, that means it will use the other half of the channel. So that's it. So that's another one. And we can go back to our zone, scroll it back down on the bottom there. Cool. That's a long list that someone sent me. This is why I prefer to make my own code plugs because people send me them and they just look at it. I mean, not even going to use hardly any of it. Chat. I'm just trying to find zones now. There's zones, back to the zone. Like so, that one there. I just oh, I saw the windows already open. It's just so long winded. Zones. Let me in. There it is. I double clicked it here, GB7FI. Now then we're back in and then we just add that other channel which I preach sure I put on number three there it is there add and I'm going to add hubnet on there as well exactly the same process so I'm going to add hubnet as a contact so if we look at digital contact we've got all these ones here where is it digital contacts cool look at all that so let's add one we're going to right click add group call there you go. Now private is individuals, group call is the talk group. So name is Hubnet. And then call ID is actually 23526. Remember the numbers are everything on DMR. Your It's like a phone number. Your DMR number is your phone number. The 23526 Hubnet is a talk group number. It all really matters. So we just added that. So if we go back to my channel now, up and down, looking for channels. Uh, there it is there, this one called Hub. And I'm just going to select, still repeat a slot one, color code three, but contact is the new one I just made, Hub that. And then just make sure that channel is inside our zone so we can find it. Then I'm going to delete a lot of this rubbish. It's completely, I've seen people, they share these, they share these code plugs around, but they're not usable. So what's the point? Um, right, anyway, zone. GB7FI, go to the bottom. No, it's up to you at the top. Hubnet, add. So now we're going to write that to the radio. Write to radio. That's all gone in the radio. And while I'm here, I'm going to show you how to upload contacts and things. It's quite good. So that's gone to the radio, GB7FI. But if we go, let's have a look now, extras, and go download Corsine database. You can download it. You can actually lengthen how many characters it shows. Let's do 40, just for fun. 
download and then you can send that to the radio and that's all your contacts and the, the thing about this radio is it will hold all the contacts uh, which is really unusual for a 40 pound radio right, so now when you send them to the radio it does take a while so just be patient i'll show you how you can also send all the satellite information but you do need to add your location otherwise it's not going to work there it's listed them all now now you've got to write to radio it's just selected it says database writing let's see how fast it is i got a feeling it does take a while the first bit looks like it's going to go in quite fast um but then it ends up taking and the more characters you select see at the bottom i selected 40 the less contacts you'll get in there because oh that's done it well that was quick because you know if it shows too much if it stores too much it's using up the memory right well that's good that will seem to work we close that and then we go back to the extras open g77 support there and this is where we start to load up the satellite stuff so we're going to go install satellite that's a quick one it's basically the locations of all the satellites and you can load voice prompts now i need to again you have to get the file with the voice prompts on it's not hard you just save it as a small file and you've got voice prompts download screen grab look at that that's like um i'm pretty sure that's like a screenshot you know it's going to save it look downloads so save and then if i go to my downloads it should be there yeah there is there <laughs> it's good isn't it you know i know it's I'm not sure why you'd use it but it's still good extra uh, let's look more extras so satellite you can back up restore flash backup flash so lots of settings there install that yeah play a tune what's that all about um okay so morse code isn't that Theme editor, this is another one where you can start changing all the colors. So if we change at the moment, the background is red. Let's change this already is blue. Let's change it to this sort of purpley color. Click OK, right to radio, and it should see it change to purple. Ta da! Uh, and of course, you can literally change everything. Look, background, text boot screen, boot screen background, channel name, you name it, you can, you know, you can change it. Right to radio, just change the channel name there. Satellite spot, GPS number, VFO, receive frequencies, talk group, you know, you get the idea. And you can actually save this. Once you've loaded that, you can actually say, save it and then see that save theme, send the file to a friend saves it as a is it gtm file you can go look do you want your radio to look like mine and then people are making these making different ones so let's just end the video by just seeing if we can get a contact on uh on the on the actual radio right we're out here so the way you select the zone is you go menu and go up and down until you see zone select go up and down until you see gb7fi the zone that we named select now I know it's active, I just saw it. So what we're gonna do is just key up on nine a minute. And when you key up, it does that, it starts to count down. See if that, see the way it's gone green, that means we're accessing the repeater, even here. So if I try and, it depends what the repeater's connected to. So there's Hubnet there. If I try and key and make it connect to Hubnet, then we'll start to hear Hubnet. I'm coming outside to see if I get a better signal. But it might already be connected by someone else to something else. So the other one to do is, if we go, oh, Mazzy's here. If we go to talk group 9, we might be receiving something, but it might be on the other slot, because you have two slots. You have slot 1 and slot 2, so let's try both. So we haven't, you know, received anyone yet, but I want to show you manual dial. So if we go back to menu... And then just go to the 
go back to your zone, just make sure you're in the correct zone. And GB7 and F5. Then if you hit the hash, you can actually manually dial a talk group. So we hit the hash and then it says talk group entry. But if you press it again, it says private. Yes, for private entry. We'll go back to talk group entry. So we want it to actually say TG entry. We don't want it to, because we could have chosen a contact. TG entry. And then we'll just go two, three, five, one. Hit the green button. And now when you transmit, it will transmit on that talk group number. And that's why we use number nine, because nine is more like a, an invisible link. You still have to tell it what talk group to go to. And the other obvious one is if you want to go into just VFO mode, not be in this channel sort of mode, you just press the red button. And now you can type a frequency and to change whether you're in digital or analog. So if we just go four, three, four, five, five, zero. OK, that's my node that's in this room, different channel altogether. But at the moment, it's not going to receive it because we're in digital mode. So you just go menu, go down to channel details, select. And then now we want to tell it whether we're in digital. See it mode there, turn the middle knob. That's FM. Select. And now if someone speaks, we should hear that because we're now in analog mode. As you just heard. So yeah, lots to learn. It just touches the surface really of what this radio can do. Bye for now.